What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is Ashes Cricket Career Mode, and we are back to the India Tour of Pakistan. It's the last game. It's the ultimate game. Whoever wins this wins the series. We are coming off of a loss against Sri Lanka, so we need to get back to our winning ways in this one. We need to win this one, and we have to win this one because if you, well, if you're not Indian or Pakistani, let me explain to you how important this game is. So let's take the Ashes. You know how important that is. You want to win it. Right, it's big, it's the biggest game your country will play that year, and it is, you absolutely have to win it. But if you don't win it, that's fine, it's part of the game, right? No, 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 that's not what happens here. If you lose, whoever loses here will probably get burned alive in their home country. Now, I'm pretty sure that's not what happens in the ashes. Well, at least I hope it doesn't. But yeah, I have seen on multiple occasions people attacking these players houses and these players if they can get their hands on them in both countries Pakistan and India so there is no losing this one mate and unfortunately being that it is a game someone has to lose and that someone will be India because I want to live all right and so I'm gonna make sure I hand you your ass on a plate with cherry on the top all right, I'm being nice. I'm putting a little cherry on. Anyways, let's move on. Again, it's at the Sydney Cricket Ground. It's a takeover, mate. Pakistanis and Indians getting together and invading Australia. Anyways, there are the two lineups. And um, Muhammad Amr is our captain. Still, I don't know why. He's not even been selected for the World Cup squad, and they've made him the captain here. Anyways, oh, by the way, are you guys excited for the World Cup? It's just around the corner, isn't it? What's the date today? About a month, so yeah, about a month and a few days, you know. So yeah, it's very near. There's the four-day outlook for this game. But yeah, very excited for the World Cup and very excited for that all-important Pakistan versus India game in the World Cup, of course. All right, so here we have won the toss and have chosen to bowl first. Um, all right, I mean, sure, you know, it doesn't really matter that much in this game. But uh, obviously it matters a lot more what you choose to do with the toss in real life. But Harawadkar is opening alongside... Shit, I forgot. I forgot who the other player is. But I'm sure you guys know because you guys saw the lineups. Anyways, I'm sure Hassan Ali... Okay, I was going to say Mohamed Amr is going to open. But it's Hassan Ali who will be opening the bowling for us. Alright, two, three wickets already. Wow, alright, four wickets. I mean, India have scored quite a lot of runs, so there's that. And your boy's been given a chance. All right, so that's uh, four wickets down, 191. All right, it's pretty pretty decent. It's not really, you know, the game is going okay for both teams at, at the moment. Unless we pick up a couple more wickets, then India's in trouble. But yeah, they've got Virat Kohli still out there in the middle, who is... Well, you all know, very good. And I start off with a dot delivery against Virat. Look at that. Ooh, that's close. All right, so that's a maiden. That's a maiden, and there's virtually nothing I can show you there. I guess I could show that delivery. Ooh, lovely shot. Into the gap. I don't think it's going to go all the way, but they will pick up a couple there. Oh, by the way, I just remembered, so... You know how I told you about that bowling video I was going to make in real life? Uh, yeah, I'm still figuring that out because my backyard is very bumpy. So I tried bowling in it the other day and it just wasn't working. So I'm... Oh, I just hit him in the, in the ass. In the side cheek. In the side of the cheek. Side of the ass. Whatever, you get the point. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I just don't know how to make it work. Uh, but yeah, once I figure it out, I will upload that video. And uh, I actually went uh, golfing or to a golf driving range. Uh, and I recorded a, a video there. So I'll upload that for now. You know, like a real life video, I mean. And I'll work on that cricket video and get it done. All right, good fielding. Pakistan have really improved their fielding, man. Not just in this game, I'm talking about real life. Alright, I'm back. Uh, oh shit, look at that! Virat Kohli's gone. Who got him? 
Shit, I wasn't looking at the screen when I skipped it. But yeah, he's gone. It's a very big wicket, but they, he scored quite a lot of runs, so he has had a big impact on this game. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those. Oh, that's not out. But yeah, like I was saying, I have a feeling it's going to be one of those games where I don't do well with the ball at all. So I'm going to have to make up for it with the bat instead. I see, oh, that's a lovely shot. Aprajit, what a shot. One bounce over the rope, and that's five runs off the over. All right, I was just about to say, is it really this boring a test game in real life as well? I assume not because you're actually much more involved than just pressing a couple of buttons, but you, you get the point. First delivery. Oh, went with a Yorker. Went with a Yorker. Sometimes that works. Obviously, most of the times it doesn't. Oh, direct hit as well, and they collected a single. Listen, man, don't make fun of me for getting excited for a useless direct hit. This is what test cricket does to you, all right? You gotta, you start to appreciate the little things in cricket. I was gonna say in life, but really cricket. Oh, anything? Anything at all? No? Come on. Oh, that's a lovely shot off the legs. And that's gone. No need to run after that one, mate. That's a four. I've ever seen one. Gunski, mate. Saha with a lovely shot. Nice comeback. Just trying to think how I can flatten. Oh, we got a wicket. Is that project who's gone? Yes, he's gone. Let's go. Six wickets now. I mean, they've scored 270 runs. It's quite a lot of runs. In Australia, it is, you know. On those subcontinent wickets, not so much. You need like four or five hundred runs, but on Australia, two seventies plenty. I've kept it very economical, but no wickets. That's a couple more wickets. Just finish it, man. Why are you giving me the ball? I'm useless, and I'm not giving up any runs. So I guess the only thing I'm really good for at the moment is giving the others who are actually taking wickets an opportunity to rest. Mm. Over the field, a lovely shot that is. Patel plays it ever so nicely. They could have picked up one more run there, but uh, they have sat uh, saddled for the two. And that's the end of my over, just two off of it. 327 runs, like I said. Oh, I think we just got them all out. Yes, we did. Yes, they're all out. 328, just one more run they scored. And uh, there's nothing really special except Rahane. Rahane got 80 and 69 from Kohli. And I guess Upper Jit's 35 and 31 from Sahai is good too. But besides that, there's nothing really good from anyone. It was an overall sort of a team effort. Hasn't only got three wickets, two for Aymer, two for Shadab Khan, one for Yasusha. And I could not get any wickets, but I did keep it very economical though. So yeah, 329 at least is what we need to get. And uh, it's your boy, Laughing Coyote, accompanied by Amateur who, um, well, yeah, I don't think I need to say anything about him. You guys know who he is. <laughs> Pratap Singh will be opening for India. Well, let's go with the leg glance. All right, finally some runs for your boy. Let's get a couple. All right, easy two right there. Two runs on the board, finally. Working on the legs. Lovely shot. I don't think I've hit it too well, though. It's not going to go all the way, but I can pick up two, so that's good. Another two right there. Four runs for your boy. Let's go, mate. Let's smack it on the... Fuck off. I hit it with the bat, and also it's not in line. What are you appealing for, Aparajit? Getting ahead of yourself. I, I complimented him on his 31 or whatever he scored. Now he's getting ahead of himself. Oh, look at that. Shazad is gone. Shazad is gone. Yep. So Singh got him out and he is gone. Is that six? Please tell me that's six. No, that's not. It's going to land short, but one bounce over the rope. That's four more runs. Barbarazam is now out there in the middle and we have, we've got a big task ahead of us, mate. We've got a big task. Let's not be like Shazad, yeah? Let's keep it, um... Oh, come on. I was hoping that would go through the point fielder. And, well, not through him, but you know what I mean. 
and give me a four, but I guess not. You know what? Let's get a single or a couple if you can. Can we? Come on. Yes. Oh, no. What a throw. What a throw. Oh, my God. Patel got the second wicket as well. He got the, the one with the ball, and now he's got one with his fucking arm. What a throw that was. Look at that. That was... Oh, that is good. That is good. If he had not hit that direct, I would have made it. Wow, that is good stuff. And I like how my guy sort of dives into the ball and stops the ball. <laughs> it's a good mechanic anyways. Oh, no. Gone for just nine runs. Are you having that? Sami Aslam is the next man in. Oh, and he's gone as well. No, he's actually still out there. Fahim Mushraf with 69, 41 from Hassan. Oh, we weren't so good. We weren't that bad either, you know. We got like 290, something like that. Which is not that far off. We got a wicket here. So that's good. And I've been brought into the attack early. Now let's hope I can take a wicket this time. Last time did not get any wickets. Oh, lovely shot off the foot. And the fielder should have done a lot better, man. Just as I praise the Pakistani fielding, they do that. But they have improved a lot, though. I mean, back in the day, I mean, if it was a... The, if the ball was even an inch to the right or left of the fielder, I was like, all right, that's a drop catch. He's not fucking taking that. But uh, that's changed, so that's good. Oh, lovely, lovely. Through the extra cover, and I think it's gonna run. No, it's slowing down quite a bit. No, it will not run away to the boundary for four. He's just stopped it just before, and hit. Why? What? We could have taken another run easily, but they chose not to. Settle for the three, and there is the 50 partnership of 59 deliveries. They're doing quite well. And they, I mean, they had a lead before they even scored a single run, so... Yeah, India in a very strong position. And all the shit-talking before the match is coming back to haunt me now. Alright, we got a second wicket. That one has gone for 43. And India, I think they have a much better start this time around than last time, and they have... A lead as well this time so I don't know it's gonna be really tough I'm gonna have to really step up my game with the ball and bat let's hope I can take at least one wicket this game I mean come on oh fuck me dead let's go mate that's what I'm talking about did you see how the keeper moved that was amazing placement he read he read it I mean he, he, he moved before he even made contact with the ball Rahane and he's gone for 21 runs Hassan, brilliant work right there. Getting into position earlier. Look, watch this. Oh, it's going to be... He's not, you're not really going to see the wicket keeper, but you can just rewind the video and see it. The keeper moved before he made contact with the bat. The batsman made contact with the bat, I mean. And Kohli is now in to the middle. I, I want to say the skipper, but... I mean, he is obviously the skipper in real life, but not in this game. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Mariah would... 73 runs. He's doing quite a lot. And Kohli just came out. So yeah, India still in a very good position. Oh, lovely shot. Oh, and that's gone. Yeah, that's gone for four. That's lovely timing from Virat Kohli. Brilliant. He's just so good, isn't he? In real life and in this game, of course. Look at that. Just guides it and it's gone. And another wicket. Mariah's doing really well though. Kohli's gone. That's a big wicket. But the man in form. Still out there. 134 runs he scored. And he's still out there. Can you just surprise me again like you did earlier? Game, please. I went with a cross seam bounce. I wasn't expecting anything from it. And I got a wicket. Let's go, that's what I'm talking about. Middle stump out, Mirai, the danger man, the man in form has gone 147. You have to applaud for him though, 147, that's a brilliant innings. And a brilliant innings needs a brilliant end. And that is a brilliant end right there. The middle stump, I mean, it, I think it went past the keeper, that's how far back it went. 
Wow, that was good. That was tremendous. Again, not expecting that at all. Mostly, you know, mostly when I get wickets in this game, I've been working on that wicket for quite some time, and you can like, sort of like feel it, you know? You're like, all right, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. This is it, this is gonna be the one. But these two wickets I've taken just came out of the blue, mate. Out of nowhere, simple deliveries. Deliveries that I'm just sort of bowling for the sake of bowling them. I'm not really expecting anything from them, and I got wickets on both of them. Well, look at that, I'm gonna quickly take a screenshot, and we'll move on. I mean, look at that, it just kept going, the wicket. It didn't want to stop. <laughs> Looks kind of trippy there. Look at that, it just kept going. Just kept going. Whoa! Yes! Oh my god, another wicket! This is literally the first delivery after the other one. Well, not after the other one, but you know what I mean. The next over, Baba is gone. 27 runs, and he's gone in a similar fashion like Virat Kohli in that Champions League, Champions League, Champions Trophy final. Come on, man. Did not expect that at all. All right. Three wickets so far. This is good stuff. Right here, mate. I'm getting a call from someone. Who the who is calling, man? Just got my third wicket. Piss off. I don't want to speak with anyone. Ravindra Jadeja, speaking of the Champions Trophy, he's the man of the match. Right there, coming on to the... Can I get him out? Can I get him out? Nope, I cannot. I find it easy to ball against the lefties in this game. Um, I don't know why, but it's just easier, I guess. Why did I say that I'm not going to get anyone out now? Any of the lefties, at least. <gasps> How did that... Oh my god! I, I got off my chair, man. I thought I got him out. Waiting. When you celebrate uh, too early. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was close. Snowy into the attack. 278. Got in a wicket, but they have scored 298. Yeah, 298. So they have scored quite a few runs. And I'm not... I shouldn't say this. I shouldn't say this. I was going to say I'm not going to take another wicket because... These are tailenders, and if you have seen this career mode, or if you've even played this game, you know that tailenders are more skilled than actual batsmen. It's dumb. Please, Cricket19, fix that. Why are tailenders scoring 50s? Like, look, I get it. Sometimes tailenders do score 50s, and that's fine, but when it happens every other game, 30, 40, 50, 60, even 100 I've seen once. Like, it's just dumb. Like, please, fix that. Ooh, lovely back foot punch. It's beaten the fielder. Beaten the mid on. And yeah, it has. It's beaten them all the way to the fence. That's four more runs. That was a lovely shot, mate. Ooh, and that's the comeback of a Portoon. Not gonna get you out. I'm gonna get you injured. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely shot again. This Singh guy is good. Lovely flick of the wrist. I don't think he's going to get a four this time, but he's gotten three, I assume. I'm cracking my fingers. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, he's gotten three right there. And uh, Sahar's doing well. 23. It's just proving what I said, you know. These tailenders, they're just not going to get out. Watch each of them score 50 right now. Oh, let's go. How many wickets was that? I think that was two. Not entirely sure. Might have been two. Yes, it was. So Singh's still out there. Sahar's gone. And so the next man who came out, which I don't know who that was, is also out. And Kolar is now out there in the middle. With one to leave. That swung quite a bit, didn't that? Oh. Oh. Oh, this. Okay, can someone help me with this? How did I do that? I mean, I didn't do anything, and he just caught that. But normally, it's a catch. Like, it's a catch and it just goes through the ball or he doesn't catch it is there like a button i have to press because i didn't press anything there and he did that so can you please help with that or is this just random there's no way to actually do it manually oh my god that swung so much that swung so much it's actually gonna miss the stump it's not out because it swung so much holy shice that was good Oh, and just take the wicket. There we go. So there you go. Another tail ender scoring like 30 plus runs. I can fix this bullshit, man. All right, now I have to do well in this innings. I didn't do well at all in the last one. 
We've got a big task out of us. 381 runs. That's what. That's our target. And we've lost two wickets already. Are you f shitting me? Oh, on the legs. Bada bing, bada boong. And it's gone over the road. No, not over the... Well, okay. <laughs> it's still four runs, all right? It doesn't matter. Onside. Boom! Oh, I've not hit that well, but thankfully there's no field of that, which means I'm going to get four. Yeah, boy! Oh, I've hit it. Have I hit it well enough? Well, enough for a four, but not for a six. One bounce over the rope, and that's four more runs. Ooh, that was... Wasn't a good idea to do that with that delivery, but I didn't anyways. Oh, actually, I can get a double. Can get another double entendre. <laughs> anyways. Again, I keep playing that shot. It's very risky, but I've got another... Another double entendre. It's good. As long as I get runs, right? That's all that matters. If it ain't broke, yeah. why fix it, right? One of these days, I'm gonna get a four. Come on! That, that was expecting that one to go for a four, but... I'll take a double. That's another double right there. It's going to like that this time. Yeah. Double entendre incoming. I was actually going for a six at entendre. <laughs> I'm dumb, I know, but I uh, got a two instead. That's good. Six runs off the over overall, though, and that's 51 runs partnership up. The 55 delivery, Sami Aslam hanging in there after losing two quick wickets. We are doing quite all right, isn't it? Aren't we? What? Oh, that's lovely. Straight on. Beating both the fielders, and I think it's going to go all the way for four. There's no need to run after that one, mate. That's raced away to the boundary for four runs. Ooh, on side it is then. Nobody there. So it's quite all right if I do that. And it's gone all the way for four. Let's go. Right, Sammy Aslam's on 44. How many is your boy on? Wasn't paying attention, but what does that put me on? Near 50, I assume I've scored more than Sammy Aslam. I don't exactly know if I have or haven't. But I assume... Oh, shit, look at that. So I'm actually behind Sammy Aslam. He's expecting to be ahead of him. Well, here's the thing. In real... Well, yeah, look at that. Yeah, he has played more than me. I was going to say he came after me, but it, that doesn't matter because... We lost two wickets, I think, in the same over, so... By the time I even got to play my first delivery, Sami Aslam had already played, like, two, three deliveries, so... I swear if you give that out... Now, instead of appealing, if that dickhead silly point had actually... ...attempted to catch that, that might have been out. But they went for the appeal instead. Well, I, I, he kind of hid from it. He didn't appeal. But, you know... Which makes them useless. I mean, if you're just going to hide from it, then why are you there? The whole point of you being there is so you can take those opportunities. And Sami Aslam is gone, by the way. I just realized. Fucking hell. We're not in a good way, mate. We've got a lot of runs still to get. And we're losing wickets quickly. But Waheed is out there. I know Waheed's got my back. I know he's going to stay out there for long. Right? Right? Please say yes. All right, that's lovely. That's gone. Yeah, that's gone. It's not timed ideally, but it's timed just enough, just well enough for four. And that's nine off the over. Pretty expensive, that one. You know what? On 49, let's go for it. And... Yep, that's a single right there. 50 up. But... I hope they would give you an option in Cricket 19 so you won't celebrate because I don't feel like this is something to be celebrated. Because like I said, we are not doing so well at the moment. And I would like to focus on the game rather than my personal achievements. If I get 100, sure, I'll, I'll celebrate that, but not, not this, come on. There's the wagon wheel. Quite shallow, but like I'm playing very carefully because, you know, we're losing wickets left and right and we need to... Uh, well, win this game. This is the final. We have to win this. All right, come on. Let's go through the extra cover. And he does well. That is brilliant. That is ideal. That's gone four runs. All right, man. That relieves the pressure a lot when I get a four like that without taking any risk. Oh, that's a four. Oh, yeah, that's a four. I've beaten him. Let's go. That's eight runs off the over. Lovely stuff, mate. Oh, lovely. 
Oh, that is very similar to the previous boundary I got. Let's go for... Yes, I just beaten them as well. Wasn't timed as well, so I wasn't exactly sure, even though I called it before it actually got to the boundary. But you got the boundary, so that's all that matters. You know what? Let's go in the same area again. Oh, yeah, that's four. No need to run after that one. That is lovely stuff. Three ideals. Ideal footwork, ideal timing, ideal shot choice. That's always a four, mate. Anywhere, anytime. Okay, that was very stupid. Did not need to do that at all. And, oh, I thought he was going to stop it, but he hasn't. And that's gone for four. I mean, I, I absolutely knew that I was going to be a four. That's why I didn't take a single. I didn't think he was going to stop it. I totally thought he was going to stop it. All right, I was getting ready to run, actually, there for a second. But I uh, went to the boundary anyway, so it doesn't matter. That's 14 runs off that over. It's pretty good, but um, I'd say unnecessary. Took lots of risks that I don't need to take at this stage. Quite a bit of flight on that one. Oh, that's a thick edge. Luckily for me, nobody there. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, good. It's not a direct hit. So you got two there. Ooh, is that a six? Yes, it is. Let's go. First of many, let's hope. First six of the game, but let's hope it's the first of many. I said that before I said the... You know what? Listen, I fuck it up, all right? Just give me a break. 79 meters. Now, just a flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist anyways. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on. Well, he has gone as well. Fahim Ashraf is out there in the middle. The hell? Come on. It's the final, man. What are you guys doing? You know what? Let's relieve some pressure. Oh, have I hit that well enough? Come on. And that's a six. Let's go. Just, just about cross the boundary, but it's enough. Enough for a six. Oh, my God. Look at that. I got 100. I didn't even realize that. If I actually had known that, I might not have gone for that shot. But who cares? I got the 100. And uh, I, I thought once I get the 100, I would feel a lot better. You know, a lot sort of on the safe side. But I don't. Look, big boy hit coming up. Boom! Oh, that's going high up in the sky. I'm not even going to run. Look, that's how confident. Shit. Oh, no, no. Please. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Why didn't I run? I just got one of that. But yeah, I don't feel on the safe side at all because we've lost a few wickets since then, so. All right, come on. All right, come on. Come on. Surely that one's gone over. Yes, it is. All the way for four. Brilliant. It was early timing. That scared me for there for a second because I thought the fielder might catch it. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. That's more like it. Sensible cricket. Safe. Always. Oh, it's not going for four. Okay, I stopped it, but we've got two runs there. So, I mean, that's six of the over. That's pretty good in a test game. It's good in an ODI, let alone a test. All right, good. Is that going to go all the way? Going to get a three. Oh, no, he's just picked it up. I thought he was going to, like, flick it so he could take a three, but he didn't. I'm shitting myself, man, because I do not trust Faye Mashraf at all. I don't think... Look, look at that. He scored three runs off 20. How can you trust a man like that? It's not really Faye Mushroff. That's a good shot. Will that go all the way? I think so. Nope, it's not. I'm not going to run. Again. There you go. I always knew that was going to go to the boundary. <laughs> Didn't actually, but... Yeah, like I was saying, it's not actually Faye Mushroff that I don't trust. It's just that if Faye Mushroff is coming out at number six, then we don't have any more batting to come. And so that's... That's what's scaring me, do you know what I mean? Like, if I lose my wicket here, we're done. Not gonna lie, though, I felt a little tickle. I wanted to spank it over a point there. <laughs> Can't bowl full tosses to me like that. Not in a situation like that. But I held myself back, though. You guys saw that. Come on. You gotta give me that. Oh, my God. That, that swung quite a bit. Pratap Singh. You hardly knew you, mate. All right, we're good. We're good. That's gone. Four runs, baby! That is what I'm talking about. Brilliant stuff. Fahi Mushraf still on nine runs of 37 deliveries. Come on, man. Score some runs so I can feel a little more comfortable. 
Boom! All right, let's go. That's a six. Come on, that's a six if I've ever seen one. That's three ideals into the stands, 84 meters. The reason why I'm going out for the bowlers is even though I'm nervous as shit is because I don't know why, but I feel like my end is near and I want to make sure I score as much runs before that as possible. So that's why I'm doing this. I don't know why. I did. I don't know. It's, it is what it is. But I mean, we'll see. We'll find out soon, won't we? If my end is near or not. You know what? Let's go after it again. Boom. Six. No. It will be a four, though. Yes, it will. 14 runs of that one. That's very expensive. Her Watker, not good at all, mate. And yes. Oh, that's hit well. That is hit really well. Three ideals once more. The biggest one of the day. 91 meters. Three ideals. Whenever you get those three ideals, it's going, mate. No need. Whoa, that drifted quite a bit in the air right there, but still got it right off the meat of the bat. It's Gunski. Did it go into the second deck? The upper deck? I don't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> wasn't really paying attention because I got really excited at how well I struck that. Yep. Oh, lovely. Oh, that is lovely. That is gone. Driven through the covers and it's gone for four. So that's 244. Um, about 140, something like that, more runs required. If I get them to 100 runs remaining, you know, when we're trailing by 100 runs, I think I'd be fine. If I get out after that is what I'm trying to say. I'd be fine with that, but... Yeah, right now we're... <gasps> okay, good. <laughs> All right. At first that looked like it might have been out, but it wasn't. Let's go straight. Oh, oh, that is really straight. And that's beaten the fielder. I hope it has. Come on, just beat the fielder. Yes, it has. The stadium is so big, man. It's hard to get boundaries. Oh, that was very risky. Come on. That's my 150 up. And let's go for the second. And let's go. That's 150 up. And I still don't feel comfortable. Do you know what I mean? Like, when I started out, I was like, if I get 100, I think we'll be okay. We'll be in a good place. Look at that. He's celebrating. But now I'm at 151, and I still feel like we can lose this. I mean, we can definitely lose this, but I feel like we are going to lose it if I get out. Oh, we're definitely losing it if I keep batting like that. Oh, shit. I forgot there's a fielder there. There's a fielder there. But it doesn't matter. I've cleared him. It's gone over him. 76 meters and that's another big one six runs come on that's more like it no 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 just fucking ripped my mic out of my computer man how look this is bullshit like how i'm blocking and it's just gone past me and it's not even hit like the off stump it's hit the middle stump like, even I, I'm not even a professional and I know not to do that. How does that work, man? Muhammad Hassan is the next... Oh, look at that, Muhammad Hassan. I forgot about him, so he can bat a bit too, so... Like I said, I do not feel comfortable because they require more than 100 runs and you know bloody Pakistani batting. Fucking shit. Can't even trust them with getting a hundred runs. Skip for a little while and see how things pan out. Oh shoot, we've lost another wicket. We've lost the wicket of Fahim Ashraf. Uh, 339, seven loss. Hassan is still out there. And Amr can bat a bit too, actually. Now that, why didn't I think of these guys, man? Why was I freaking out with, with Fahim Ashraf? We've got Hassan, we've got Mahmoud Amr. Hassan do was well already. He's done quite well, and Amr can do well as well. Six of thirty-two, which means he can stay out. Now. <gasps> just as I'm praising him, just as I'm praising him, but he's fine. He's still out there. But yeah, like like I said, six of thirty-two. That means that he can keep his wicket while Hassan gets runs, which is you know that's what you want in it. It's ideal. I'm gonna watch this a little bit. I'm not gonna skip all all of it. That's a lovely shot, and if Amr can do that as well, I mean that's just gonna make the job really easy for Hassan. That is lovely to see. Oh, Hassan going after it. The man, 
behind the wicket, this time in front of him, and he's backed that over the cover field, and it's gone for four. This is good stuff. This is lovely. It's like, what, 30 more runs, something like that? Not exactly sure how many we need to. It's like 388 or something, right? Something like that, I don't know. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely placement. Has he timed it well, though? Don't think he has, but he will pick up three. I'm pretty sure, yes, he has. Could have actually picked up a fourth run there as well. They took way too long in recovering that ball. Didn't know a test game can get this exciting, man. Oh, that's a lovely shot. You guys are probably saying, what do you mean exciting? It's like three wickets in hand and like 20, 20 runs, something like that required more. That's not exciting, that's an easy one for Pakistan, but you'd be wrong because you do not know Pakistan batting like I do. They have messed up worse chases, easier chases I should say, than this one. Oh, is that it? Is that the all-important wicket? Have they got him? Have they? No, the Empire's not budging. Are they going to review it? Are they going to review it? If I was the captain, I'm definitely reviewing it. This is way too crucial not to review. They have opted not to review that. What are you going to do with that review? I just simply don't understand the thinking behind that. I mean, I'm talking to them like they're real humans. <laughs> but, you know what I mean. I, I was definitely going after that one. Because if, if, if a review is not going to help me in this situation, then I don't know why I'm saving it. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Is that going to go all the way? That's, that's... Okay, it's slowing down quite a bit. You're going to get three... No, they're going to settle for two. I, you know what? I think it's safe to say now that Pakistan have won. If they had actually, if India had gotten Amr's wicket, then maybe I would have said there's a final twist in the tail. But as much of a non-believer as I am in Pakistan batting, even I have to now say, it's over, mate. There's no point in watching this. So let's just skip it. You know what? I'm going to do one over at a time. All right. We're still good. We're still good, no wickets. And I think we've just won it. Yes, we have. Let's go, Pakistan won by three wickets. And with that, we have won the series as well. Brilliant innings at the end from Muhammad Hassan. 90 of 86, not out, but here's how things panned out. Harwathkar, 21 of 24 in the first innings. 23 for Dawan, Mirai got 13 only in this innings. 80 for Rahane, 69 for Kohli, and Aprajit got a 35, 31 for Saha, 3 for Jadeja. Jadeja again not doing well against Pakistan. I don't know. At this point, if I was the coach, I'd tell Jadeja, like, look, you're a great player, but you seem to not do well against Pakistan. So let's just put you on the side and give someone else a chance. But then again, the two tail enders, Singh and Patel, scoring 27 and 25. Uh, and um, given India a really good chance, Kolar gone for a golden one. And look at that, Hassan Ali was bowling and yours truly was the one who took the catch. 328 was what they scored. Three wickets for Hassan Ali, two for Mohamed Amir, two for Shadab Khan, one for Yasser Shah, none for Fahim Ashraf and none for your boy even though I kept it very clean, very economical, 1.67, look at that. And then we came out, Shazad only got 14 runs, I only got 9 runs, 5 for Babar Azam, 38 for Sami Aslam, 26 for Umar Wahid, 69 for Fahim Ashraf, 41 for Muhammad Hassan, 26 for Shadab Khan, 16 for Muhammad Amr, and look at that, this is what I'm talking about, Hassan Ali not out, 42 runs. Come on man. Uh, and then six runs for Yasser Shah, scoring 294, which is not that bad of a total if you think about it in the grand scheme of things. I mean, we are playing in Sydney cricket ground, so keep that in mind as well. Um, Singh got a wicket, Aparajit got a wicket, two for Patel, Jadeja got two with the ball, so all right, he's doing something with the ball at least. And Kolhar or Collar got three wickets. The pick of the bowler is lowest, okay, not lowest, but second, third lowest, fourth lowest. <laughs> All right, lowest, second lowest, third, fuck off. I, I give up. I, I give up. I was going to say second lowest among those who have actually taken wickets, but then I realized there are two other players who are... Anyways, then they came out to bat. Um, Harwathka this time gone for a duck. 43 for that one, 147, very good innings for Moran, yours truly got him out, Rahane gone for 21, yours truly again got him out, Kohli got out to Muhammad Amir once again, look at that, for 25 runs, 
And Abrajith got uh, 27-32 for Saha. Uh, Hassan Ali got Jadeja, scoring 10 again. Doesn't He's not very good with the bat, is he? And Singh got 23-1 for Patel and 15 for Kohar, not out. Scoring 346 runs even more than what they scored last time. And this time they had a lead as well. So at this point, it looked like India was in firm control of the game until we came out to bat. Well, no, that's not true because like in the first or second over, we lost like two wickets. It wasn't... So yeah, it, it actually did look like India was going to win. Anyways, here's our bowling figures. A wicket for Hassan Lai, two for Muhammad Amr, one for Yasser Shah. I finally got wickets. I got three of them. Uh, Shadab Khan got a wicket and Fahim Ashraf got a wicket as well. So all everyone who bowled got at least one wicket. That is good to see. Like I said previously, India scored a humongous total. Got two early wickets. Look at that, a golden one for Shahzad and Babar Azam, who was, who's... I mean, our most talented player at the moment, gone, facing three deliveries as well. But it wasn't until ya boy started batting, started showing his class, that India lost grip of the game, scoring 157 of 151 deliveries. It is Laughing Coyote who came to the rescue of Pakistan. And... We can't forget about the others who contributed as well. Sami Aslam, 44. Umar Wahid with a 40. Fahim Ashraf with 25. And a brilliant knock towards the end from Muhammad Hassan, the wicket keeper. Not out for 90 runs of 89 deliveries. Shut up, Han only scored four. And Muhammad Amir also doing really well keeping his wicket. Look at that. He faced 82 deliveries. He almost faced as many deliveries as Muhammad Hassan. So that is very admirable as well. Singh only got two wicket and one for Patel. Three for Harwatkar. And the other three bowlers did not get a wicket this time around. 381 is what we needed. 382 is what we scored with a loss of seven wickets. And we won the game. And not only did we win the game, we won the series. And we will be the ones taking the test trophy home. So, India, you better win the ODI series or it's not going to be a fun welcome back home when you get back home. Anyways, for his brilliant 150 and three wickets with the ball, Laughing Coyote gets the player of the match. So Northern Knights, the New Zealand Premier League team have offered a contract. I'm gonna decline it because I've got so much going on at the moment. But let's check the statistics for that test series between Pakistan and India. Let's see who was the top run scorer, top wicket taker. Umar Wahid with 525 runs leading from the front. Right behind him is the, the I was going to say the skipper. Then I realized I'm not the skipper in the test um, for the test squad. So yeah, right behind him is me. Well, it's Laughing Coyote, but that's me. Anyways, you get the point. 491 and Marai right behind me. Or Laughing Coyote. You can call me me if you want. That's fine too. Uh, Sunil Kolhar got 14 wickets, number one. Hardik Pan, uh, Patel, uh, number two with 13. And then I'm number three with 12. Yasser Shah, number four with 11. Wow, look at that. So 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. That is brilliant. And then Pratap Singh ruined it. They got 10 as well because the next baller then got nine. Then there is eight. That would have been really nice if he's got nine, then eight, and then seven. But anyways, doesn't matter. Here are the statistics. Um, uh, so who do you think would get the man of the series for that test series? Also, Big Ant Studios, please add the man of the series award. Come on, man. It's important. Anyways, next episode is going to be the ODI series, game one. So do not forget to tune in for that. I hope you will. And if you do, I will see you guys in that video. Until then, have a nice...